on the show in wheel spin we drive the new Volkswagen Jetta in wheel spin we get in behind the wheels of a racing truck and in the best of luxury driving we drive the Mercedes CLA to Gwalior what I'm going to drive today is this the new Volkswagen Jetta well if it doesn't look all that new to you then it's because it isn't all that new this is the same sixth generation Jetta that you're used to seeing on Indian roads but what this has got is what many cars get in their midlife or rather to solve their midlife crisis a facelift and this is what this Jetta has got too and this is the Jetta Volkswagen has recently launched in India The Jetta is in fact one of the oldest models from Volkswagen. It was launched way back in 1979 based on the existing Golf platform and came with both the two-door and the four-door versions. But nothing really substantiates more the fact that this is indeed one well-made car than the fact that it has survived over 35 years and is currently in its sixth generation. And the one we drive today is the latest iteration, the sixth generation with a facelift. As in the case of most facelifts, this Jetta 2 has got a complete front end treatment and what you get now is a new front grille with three chrome strips here, a new bumper, new air dams and headlamps with daylight running lights and what all this has done is to give this a new fresh look. And as you make your way to the back of the car, you realize that the rear part of the car too has had a change. You get a new taillight cluster here, new bumpers and new position for the license plates here and even a new Volkswagen logo and again this has made the back of the new Jetta somewhat different from the existing one. The Jetta was launched in India in 2010 in its current 6th generation version and this current one which Volkswagen launched recently isn't any different than the outgoing one in terms of dimensions and wheelbase. All that has remained untouched and the only difference is in the cosmetics which we feel has made it more proportionate and a better looking car. The strength of the Jetta had always been its solid build quality and this is where it has an edge over its rivals. If you were to step inside this new Jetta, I can tell you that you will be a trifle disappointed because what will greet you is pretty much what the old car offered. Not too many changes which are really visible to the eye the moment you step in. But then if you look closely, you will find that the steering here has become flat bottom, pretty much like most of the car in the Volkswagen stable now. And this is wrapped in leather with multifunction buttons on it, which adds a nice touch and very practical too. And then if you look at the instrumentation here, you will find that there is a small addition. Now it comes with chrome surrounds. Not a big change, you might say, but then again, every little thing adds to the car. But where the Jetta really scores is in terms of the build quality. It feels and looks very solid and in terms of the equipment list, it has pretty much everything that a mid-size car will offer you. And one more area where the Jetta really becomes my favorite is in terms of safety. This Jetta here comes with six airbags, which is absolutely class leading. No other car in this segment offers this much. Overall, I think the Jetta is a car which will offer you all the comfort, luxuries and plenty of space. The Jetta comes with 510 litres of boot space, which is bigger than what the competition offers and the split 60-40 rear seat makes it a bit more versatile in terms of luggage carrying abilities. If you were to take a look inside the bonnet, you will find that things really haven't changed much in there either. The new Jetta continues to be powered by the same two power plants, a 2-litre TDI diesel and a 1.4-litre TSI. But where you do have a choice is in terms of the transmission. The diesel TDI comes with two options, a 6-speed DSG as well as a 6-speed manual transmission. Even the 1.4-litre gasoline TSI engine is made it to a 6-speed manual transmission. But what you will not find in that is an option of an automatic. What really impresses me about this new Jetta is the ride and handling. 
The ride is quite nice. It's not very jarring, especially for our Indian conditions. And at the same time, the handling is sorted out. It stays planted, corners quite confidently. So overall, you have a very nice package in this Jetta in terms of drivability, in terms of fuel efficiency, and in terms of handling. And overall, the car feels really solid. It's built very well. What I'm driving right now is the 2-liter diesel TDI engine made it to a 6-speed manual box. And I really like this box here. It's smooth, it's easy, and slots in perfectly. And even in Indian conditions, I think you will find that the 6-speed is a good option because it will help you save on the fuel. And it really shows up on the fuel efficiency figures. This diesel gives you over 19 kilometers to a liter. In the case of the petrol variant too, I think it's the 6-speed box here which goes a long way in making this so much more fuel efficient. In fact, you get figures of over 14 kilometers to a liter, and that's not really bad for a car in this segment. The new Jetta rides on 16-inch wheels on new design alloys, and the ground clearance of just 159 millimeters might prove to be a bit too low for the Indian road conditions. But the low stance, of course, makes it look sportier and improves its cornering abilities. After having driven this new Jetta, all I can tell you is that I will completely agree with you if you were to say that these changes here aren't just enough. Yes, they are not enough, but keep in mind that this is not a generation change, neither is this a platform change. This is an attempt by Volkswagen to address what I call the midlife crisis of a car. And I think Volkswagen has done a nice job of doing this. They have refreshed the car and this is sure to give it an extended lease of life. And if you look at the market in India for mid-sizers, there really aren't too many cars there. But the good part is that if you do opt for the Jetta, what you will get is a car which is typically German, which means that it's really well-built. And if Volkswagen does not increase the price too much of this new Jetta, then I think it will be a very valuable addition to the entire mid-range car in India. So if you are in the market to buy a car this size, do have a look at this new Jetta. Well, Volkswagen didn't increase the price drastically, but still at an approximately 3 to 4% increase, the Jetta won't be the cheapest car in this segment. The Jetta will be available in two variants for the petrol, and four variants including one with an automatic transmission for the diesel variant. And the prices start at Rs 13.7 for the base petrol, while the top of the line diesel with an automatic transmission will cost Rs 20.17 lakh. Coming up next, in wheel spin, we get in behind the wheels of a racing truck. <laughs>